Let's get this trash out of the way. Hey everybody, welcome back. This week's NPC improvement came suggested to us by Emmanuel Demicho, and they asked if we can do locksmith. Of course I can. I've been kind of itching to do it anyway, and you just kind of gave me the perfect excuse. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at his history. B1 Freud, AC Locksmith, Commander of the Vespers, the Archibus Group's Augmented Human Squad, an ace pilot who achieved an astonishing 94.7% mission success rate during the Island 4 disturbance. Freud is widely suspected to be a recipient of repeated adjustments much like Snail. However, the real Freud is simply an ordinary human being, a man who enjoys piloting his AC and making incremental improvements on his daily sorties. The little refreshing to see what I'm pretty sure is pure human and not some bag of meat piloting an AC for once. Locksmith's frame has the Balaam Melander head, Archibus VP40S core, Archibus VP46S arms, and the B Balaam Melander legs. It's like Freud said, F you to his superiors, buy me some Balaam parts. The internals consist of the Sh uh, Schneider Flugel booster, the Balaam Abbott FCS, the VE-20A from Archibus, and the Pulse Armor resides in the expansion slot. Locksmith's arsenal is also about half Balaam inspired, with the Turner in the right hand and the Morley on the right back. The other two weapons being from Vice and Cohen Plasma Laboratories, the VVC-77LB Laser Blade in the left hand and the VVC-700LD Laser Drones on the left back slot. I opened up Pink Tusk Mammoth's AC Garage again and got to work. I decided to help Morley out with a little bit of a Gridwalker booster to help quickly hop in the air and fire downwards taking advantage of the splash damage on the ground. The Abbott FCS was swapped for the WLT001 for more mid-range but not sacrificing too much short range. I changed to the VP20C generator for a little more energy management with lightweight form and we're going to keep that pulse armor. For the weapons, in the right hand I almost immediately changed the turner for the scutter as it will give our chip damage a slight boost. In the left hand, since we are going to be spending more time at some range, I opted for a moonlight wave emitter instead of a pulse blade, or a laser blade for that matter. On the left back, at first I wanted to keep it laser themed and I tried the laser orbit but ultimately ended up with the P19 SPL-12 because missiles rock. And on the right back, I obviously kept the Morley as indicated with the Gridwalker booster that I was telling you about earlier. Keep the scutter going and just kind of use the other stuff as openings arise so as to not get tanked or so as to not tank too much damage or miss shots. The split missiles are pretty awesome. They'll just kind of work as long as you don't wall them. And enjoy the rest of the show.
Thanks again to Emmanuel for that suggestion, and thank you viewers in general for checking this out. If you have a build suggestion for build file builds or a cosplay you'd want me to check out, or another NPC video, leave a comment or join us in Discord, link is in the description, and on the homepage. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye!